The state television company Western Armenia will present the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Tribute to the soldier of Western Armenia. The 19th session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. Genocide and displacement is a deep sorrow. Hachi Kaijanyan. The 26th number of Western Armenia magazine has been published. The Hamidian regime, the founder of the main thesis of the denial of genocide. Armenia and us film The Song of Flying Leaves won an award at the Beirut Film Festival, May 1st was Day of Swing. In 2024, on the April 14, the delegation of government of the Republic of Western Armenia with the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, and a number of members of parliament visited to the museum of the hero who died from the 44-day war. Nuroy Sogamonyan's house museum, where Nuroy's short but loving life's paintings and musical instruments, military items and clothes used by him are shown. That remind us all to live in motherland, live next to motherland, and live for motherland. The main goal of Armenia Gabrahamian and the delegation was to transfer the flag of Western Armenia and a piece of land brought from Western Armenia and Artsakh to Susanna Vartanyan, a son and a mother of Western Armenia who will raise the flag of Western Armenia with great interest and honor and preserve their piece of land as a blessed relic of the native land. Glory to all the heroes who took the eternal path. On May 1, on the online platform of Skype, the regular session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. Nelly Harutunyan, the chairwoman of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, made an opening speech at the session, presenting the issues of the genocide against the Armenians on April 24 and April 27. A commemoration ceremonies, events, organizational and representative issues which was held together with the National Assembly and the government. The chairwoman of the National Council of Western Armenia under the patronage of Armenia Gabrahami. The next topic on the agenda was presented by Member of Parliament Benjamin Hovanisan, who reported to the Parliament by presenting the details of the first meeting of the Turkish Speaking Commission of the Republic of Western Armenia, which took place in the Yerevan Office of the Republic of Western Armenia. Issues related to the upcoming second plenary session of the Parliament were also presented. During the session, a number of agenda and current issues were also discussed. On April 27, the commemoration ceremony took place in the Titernak Abert Memorial Complex on the victims of the genocide against Armenians. Hachi Kajanyan, who is a member of the Western Armenian Parliament, came to Yerevan from Western Armenia to participate in the ceremony. In his speech, Hajanyan mentioned that the deep sorrows inflicted by the genocide and deportations have reached our days and have not healed. According to Hajanyan, the problem of historical injustice caused by the genocide, like all national problems, requires investigation and solution out of politics. He mentioned as follows, we all know that it is impossible to overcome this situation without recognizing the historical reality of the genocide and condemning it with public conscience. Without healing the pain of the genocide and assuming our historical obligations without starting a long-term and comprehensive struggle, we must realize that we are burdening the shoulders of society with the influence of the genocidal mentality. The deputy living in Western Armenia reminded the audience that impunity breeds crimes. As long as there is no proper confrontation, acceptance of responsibility for this genocidal crimes, we cannot hope we can be democrats, build a common future with the people, nations, religions, and different cultures of the region. This is every, everybody's pain. The new number of the Western Armenia magazine has been published. The new number is entirely dedicated to the victims of the genocide against Armenians. In the Armenian site section, you can familiarize yourself with the chronology of the genocide against Armenians. On the cover of the magazine, there is a photo taken by Armin Wagner. During the First World War, 47-year-old medical worker Armin Wagner was among the German soldiers who, by fate, ended up in one of the operational camps next to the Berlin Baghdad Railway, which later became one of the places Places of massacres of Armenians. In addition to the medical service, he was also involved in photography, which made him a historical witness whose mission was to preserve the facts of crimes for future generations. His letter described in detail the atrocities of the Turkish soldiers. He was surprised and amazed that the great power remained uncommunicated with the deportations and the mass pogroms. Wagner also wrote an open letter to U.S. President Woodrow Wilson, told and presented facts about the deportation, torture, and mass extermination of the Armenian people. 
In his letter, he states that the Armenian people are subjected to such cruelty that no other nation in the world has seen. Wagner, for secret photographic activity in 1943, expelled from occupied Western Armenia. His remains in 1996 moved to Armenia. The genocide against Armenians, in fact, did not begin during the reign of the young Turks, but much earlier during the re reign of Abdul Hamid II. The methods of violence, the systematic and elaborate nature of the crimes, and the particular brutalities did not differ from the cases that were carried out later and were classified as genocide in legal terms. Moreover, the origin of genocide denial should be sought in this period. The main thesis which originated and were widely used in that period were later copied, reworked, improved, and adapted to the conditions of the following period. Later, the wording definitions, means of expression, pathos of rhetoric were changed, but the content was mostly preserved. One of the denialist theses has always been to blame the victims for violence, massacres, and mass murders. It should be noted that very often the negative theses are interwined. Alvina and Das film, The Song of Flying Leaves, won an award at the Beirut Film Festival. The short animated film Song of Flying Leaves by director Alvina and Das won the Best Short Animation Award at the Beirut International Women's Film Festival. The Song of Flying Leaves is the first Armenian-Iranian animated film. It is a joint production of Hoshki Film and Iranian Hurak Studios. The authors of the script are Armenia Anda and the famous Ukraine-Armenian director Roman Balayan. The director of the film is Mikhail Oskanyan. The director is Anna Hakopian. The roles are played by Armenia Anda and Gagi Ghazare. The Armenian companies Oberton and Baghinyan Art Video also supported the creation of the film. All holidays are interesting in their own way and are celebrated in many different ways. M May 1st was celebrated in Karintak village in a very unique way. In the village, the holiday was called Day of Swing. On that day, the children and young people, adults of the village, gathered in the oak grove, tied thick, strong ropes to the trees and swung. There was a game besides swinging. They had to be able to stick to the legs of the swinger with an oak stick. After swinging and playing, they gathered and tested the river water. Everyone brought food from their homes who should set the table together and have fun with each other. This was all for today. Goodbye.